The whole thing's a work. Okay. So. Every bit of it. But see, nobody knows that. The um, You guys don't know that. No. When you I, say everybody, you're talking about the talent or? Well, okay. When Pillman started it, okay, <laughs> I'm not trying to pull myself over, but when Pillman first did it uh, on TV, on WCW, I, I go, it's a work. And this goes like, no way, it's a shoot. I'm like, then why don't they cut off the camera? And right away, I mean, to me, the minute they showed him doing anything, like the first with the Booker Man and the pencil, I think that was first. But then when they showed him in the audience, it's total work, you know. But who thinks of that? You know, it's like you have, the wrestling fans gradually get knowledgeable, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? You know, when I was a kid, I thought Lex Luger was great in Florida when he was only a rookie because Gordon Soley said he was. You know, so you, you don't, but, but if you look through the eyes of somebody who, of that knowledge, you know, that's what you know. But the more wrestling you watch and the more you become a fan and the more that's released inside of the more the fans grow in knowledge and so forth, um, you know, and sometimes it, and a lot of that has a negative influence, but that's beside the point. Um, but so Pillman, he played it like it was a shoot. I mean, he totally played it like it was a shoot. He was not, he was Andy Kaufmaning it, Andy Kaufmaning it, it, it. Could be a verb today. That's yeah, fine. Kaufman, he was Kaufmaning it. It's because of the Kaufman inging. It's the Dan thing. Yeah. But, but, and, and, but he called me, for, like me and him were real good friends at the time. Um, well, not real good, but we were good friends uh -huh. at the time. Because um, me, him, and Austin used to ride together in WCW um, as the comedy trio. That was our, and we had a comedy heavyweight champion. We had a comedy league. <laughs> it was ridiculous. But uh, yeah, yeah, entertain yourselves. And uh, so he called me, he said he was coming in, and, and we did a lot of coke. I remember that when he came in. But uh, he kept that thing up as a shoot and I think what happened with him the same thing happened to me first uh that art was in, like that he allowed that life to imitate mm -hmm. art you know he let the the character that he became overrun his life and his addictions got worse you know much worse I mm -hmm. mean as if the, you know as if he didn't party enough before now he was you know mega partying um and uh yeah you know, he always, knew, but he was really smart. He always knew that at his size, he was going to have trouble making the big, big money. You know. So he had to do something. Yeah, he had to do something. Do you think it was his intention to stay in ECW, or was he in his mind headed to WWF? No, he always wanted to go to WCW. He always wanted to go back to WCW, really? but get a Luger contract.